Hey, this is Sean back with another video. So I told you I would come back with a video regarding Jesse Smollett because I live in the Chicagoland area. And so, like I said, I bought today's newspaper. I know social media is all a buzz, but I just want to let you know what's going on in the neighborhood. So I got today's Chicago Sun-Times and here I've got the article, the brand new article for today regarding Jesse Smollett. So let's talk about it briefly. So it says here, lawyer says Smollett plans to speak with police again, possibly Monday. As the Chicago police investigation into the reported attack on Jesse Smollett enters new territory, the Empire actor's attorney says Smollett plans to speak with detectives as soon as Monday, which is today. One of Smollett's newly retained attorneys, newly, uh, Tog Pugh, so, told the Sun-Times on Sunday that the actor and his legal team expect to be back online tomorrow with the investigators. Pugh said a possible sit-down would depend on scheduling availability. After the police department spent weeks saying Smollett was the victim of a possible hate crime last month in Streeterville, Investigators are now probing whether Smollett paid two brothers he knew from Empire to stage the attack, law enforcement uh, sources told Chicago Sun-Times. New evidence provided to police during interrogations of the brothers, who are no longer considered suspects, shifted the trajectory of the investigation and has deter detectives wanting to question Smollett in a follow-up interview, according to police. We have some information that needs to be corroborated and verified with Mr. Smollett. Another police spokesman, Tom Ahern, told the Sun-Times on Sunday. Uh, they are still not yet classifying if Sm Smollett is an offender. Detectives have discovered that one of the brothers bought the rope alleged to be used in the reported attack at the Crafty Beaver Hardware Store in Ravenswood, a law enforcement source said. Smollett has told police he was walking in the 300 block of East North Water Street about 2 a.m. on the 29th of January when two men walked up to him, yelled racial, racial and homophobic slurs, hit him in the face, poured a substance, maybe bleach, on him, and put a thin light rope around his neck. The incident has been investigated as a hate crime. Two men were taken into custody by police Wednesday night at O'Hare Airport after returning from a trip to Nigeria, their attorney Gloria Schmidt told reporters Friday. Detectives had believed they were the same men shown in a surveillance image released by police days after the purported attack um, at the time, said at the time. They were released Friday night without charges. That's pretty important, without charges. Smollett himself denied allegations that the attack was a hoax. In an interview uh, broadcast Thursday with anchor Robin Roberts on Good Morning America and called the allegations uh, he was lying as ridiculous. Now, I have been unplugged from social media because I was enjoying my anniversary. However, um, I did spend about 10 minutes scrolling today and social media is a buzz with uh, Jussie Smollett. I've heard a lot of things. Uh, I've heard that they, that he allegedly paid uh, the brothers $3,500. Um, I'm hearing that Lee Daniels, who I believe was the first person to put a tweet out justice for Jesse is part of it uh it is getting to be a bizarre series of details that are coming out however I thought that it was important not to talk about what necessarily the blogs are saying but like I said this is in my city so I figured let me let you know what I'm hearing in the news they are being very cautious not to talk about anything or even remotely put out there that he is an offender he is still being looked at as a victim and nothing more than that at least as far as the 
the news is concerned. Now, we all know the streets are talking. And again, living here and knowing what happened on the 29th of January is why a lot of people are crying foul. Because January 29th was a horrible day. I mean, we're talking about wind chill factor making it feel like 50 below zero and everyone who lives here is scratching their heads why would you be out in such a dangerous condition as it was during the polar vortex i mean we were all kind of home on uh wednesday and thursday uh it was a nasty time to be out i mean I believe in one of my videos, I talked about a FedEx worker froze to death. In between, uh, he wasn't found until like hours later because he was parked by the FedEx vehicle trying to transport things out of his car and he froze to death. I mean, we're talking about, there were a lot of fatalities. We, they were trying to get the homeless people off the streets to to put them in warming stations i mean it was a serious serious time and the idea of a celebrity going out at 2 a.m at one of the most deadliest weather times to date just didn't make sense on the surface didn't make sense but i understand and i am i am still holding hope that this is a real crime and not some kind of publicity stunt. I, I want to believe that someone who says that they are a victim is a victim, but the streets are saying differently. But as I just wanted to let you know what is going on in Chicago and what we are hearing in Chicago as far as the official news report. So if you have any more comments, please put them down in the comment se section. Uh, like I said, I'm reserving uh, my official thoughts, but it's just not looking good. And I didn't see it, but again, like I said, I s spent some time scrolling uh, this morning. A lot of people didn't even believe that even Robin uh, believed him. Uh, I saw from some of the... Um, reports on social media that even Robin wasn't buying it and you know she is a long-standing legendary reporter and it's been said that even her body language was saying I ain't buying it I ain't buying what you're telling me so <laughs> you know I really hope that he was attacked I really hope because once again we don't want it to be a situation where you know fa false reporting makes it very difficult. I mean, we're talking about serious, a serious accusation of false reporting that it, that, you know, it's a hate crime, you know, him being uh, a person of color and part of the LGBT uh, Q community, make it a double whammy. But also if it is found out that his reporting was false, um, you know, should he be uh, put to the test? There's a lot of hours, a lot of man hours being um, put to this investigation. Um, being that he is a celebrity and it was during, during Chicago, they don't want that kind of, um, re, you know, uh, publicity. And so if it's found that it's false reporting, it's not going to look good for Jesse as well. I've also heard that his job is in jeopardy. Uh... That's a high cost, um, but again, I'm holding out hope, and um, I would assume that one or two things are going to happen. He is going to meet with them this sometime this week, and one or two things are going to happen. Either he is going to come out with a press release from the attorney, or he is going to come. He's going to go to the police uh, department 
and do your official by the advisement of my attorney I am NOT saying anything so we are going to just sit and wait and watch how this unravels but I just wanted to give you a little bit of news what's going on in my neck of the woods what what is being told here in Chicago Indiana Chicago land area so take care of yourself and each other let me know in the comments what you think talk to you soon bye